Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Dennis Brown. I want to thank you for joining me on my Freight Broker Bootcamp Live. Uh, for those of you that are catching this on replay, thank you so much for joining me early. I'm going to do a quick giveaway. Okay, we're going to do a quick giveaway. We're going to give away some Freightpreneur t-shirts. So stick around. You joined a little bit early. You're going to have an opportunity to win a Freightpreneur t-shirt. And then it, uh, in a few minutes at about noon, uh, we are going to start the Freight Burger Bootcamp Live. And today, the training I'm going to share with you is nine freight broker tips, uh, freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money. Again, nine freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money. Now these apply to both the shipper negotiating and carrier negotiating. Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about in the training. Plus after the training, we're going to do some live Q and a, like I normally do. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to do some, uh, giveaways. So here we go. So you guys know that I have been pushing here. First contest, we're going to dive right in. We've got a few people live. Uh, I'm going to give it about 30 more seconds for people to get live, and then we're going to jump in. I think we've got, you know, we've got about 20, 30 people live already. So uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining early, for coming into this live early. Again, we're going to start the training in a few minutes, but we are going to do a giveaway real quick. We're going to give away the infamous Freightpreneur t-shirt, someone that solves problems you don't know you have in ways you can't understand, okay? So that's what we're going to be giving away today. If you want to qualify for the first giveaway, okay, the first giveaway, I'm going to try to give away two or three of these shirts today. The first giveaway, all you have to do if you're on Facebook or if you're on YouTube is share the stream. Click the share button. First hit the like button. First hit the like button wherever you are and then hit the share button. And then if you're on Facebook, it's easy. You just share it to your feed, okay? Or share it inside of a freight broker or logistics group or share it somewhere on social. If you're on YouTube, you know, you can also share it. Uh, you know, the YouTube uh, gives you the ability to share it, click share, and it'll give you different options. You can also copy and paste the link and share it on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or wherever, right? Pinterest, wherever you want to share it, share it, and then come back into the stream and type hashtag shared, hashtag shared, okay? If you do that, that's going to qualify you uh, to potentially win one of these shirts, okay? So the first, that's the first giveaway. So for those of you that want a chance to win the Freightpreneur t-shirt, uh, again, I'll ship it out to you. And this is US only. I'm sorry, I don't ship these international so this is US only, okay? I have to qualify that really quick. Um, but yes, do me a favor, share this stream, okay? So wherever you're watching this, typically on Facebook or YouTube, click the share button, share now, and then come back in. And this is an honor system. I can't go out and check and verify if you did it. Although if I did later on and you, you won and you didn't do it, then you know I may call you out in a future live. So please be honest, okay? Um, and share the stream. Let other people know about these Freight Burger Bootcamp Lives. And for doing that, I'm going to pick one of you to win the Freightpreneur t-shirt. All right, so we got a bunch of people who have shared. Yeah, it's super simple, guys. First, hit the like button and then share it. You got to like, like the stream wherever you're at. I don't care if you're on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're watching this, like and then share, all right? So we got a couple more people that are sharing. We're going to give it about, let's see what time we got here. We're going to give it about, uh, okay, we're going to give it about 30 more seconds and then we're going to pick the first winner. So you got about 30 seconds to share the stream. And again, for those of you that are joining me late, we are going to be doing a live training. It's going to start at noon Eastern. Everybody jumped on early to win some prizes, win a cool shirt or two. And today the training is going to be nine freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money. I'm going to share with you nine tips uh, that, that I think will help you on both the shipper negotiation side and the carrier negotiation side. So we're going to dive into that. And then at the end, again, we're going to do live Q&A. All right, so let's do the first giveaway. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pick the first winner of the shirt. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to close my eyes and then I'm going to randomly pick one person and then I'm going to, you'll be the winner. So the winner of the first shirt is Ariana Soma. Arania, I'm sorry, Arania Soma. Arania, Arania Soma. Arania, you are the winner of the Freightpreneur t-shirt. Okay, so here's all you got to do to claim your prize. Go to the Freight Broker Bootcamp Facebook page. 
message me your full name, your address, your cell phone for, for verification and delivery, and that you won the Freightburger Bootcamp share contest. You won the Freightpreneur t-shirt. Okay. You gotta let me know that you won the Freightpreneur live share contest and that you won the Freightpreneur t-shirt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ship you out the t-shirt, but you also have to include your size. These are unisex. So they run pretty true to size. Okay. Um, this is a large fits me. I'm a 200 pound guy. Um, you know, depending on the day, 195, you know, maybe now the holidays are here, maybe a little bit more. So they run pretty true to size, but they are unisex. Okay. So make sure you do that name, address, phone size. Okay. And that you won the Freightpreneur t-shirt today. And I will make sure that that goes out. Uh, we'll order it in the next week. It'll take a week or two to get to you. Congratulations. Okay. So you're the first winner. Aranya, Aranya Soma. Congratulations, Aranya. All right. So next contest. Those of you that have heard of my Freight Broker Bootcamp podcast, here's all you got to do. Okay. Pull out your cell phone, whether it's an Android or an Apple. Okay. It doesn't matter. Pull out your cell phone right now. And what I want you to do is I want you to go to your favorite podcast app. If you're on Apple, there's an Apple podcast app built right in. If you're on anything else, you may have a Google podcast or Spotify or any number of other places where you listen to podcasts. What I want you to do is I want you to search for Freight Broker Bootcamp. What you're going to find is you're going to find the Freight Broker Bootcamp podcast. And it looks like this. Okay. It looks just like this, guys. You'll see it. And you can subscribe. All you got to do is click follow or subscribe to the show and then come back in. Okay. Once you subscribe and follow the podcast on whatever platform, Google, Spotify, uh, you know, Apple, wherever you do it, come back in and type uh, subscribe to podcast on Spotify, Google, whatever. Okay. Apple, wherever. So you got to come back in after you subscribe to the podcast and come back in and type subscribed to podcast on Spotify, subscribe to podcast on Apple, subscribe to podcast on Google, whatever. Okay. But you got to come back in here after you subscribed and you got to let me know and you got to type it in the comments. That's how I'm going to pick the winner. Just like I picked the last winner. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. And again, this is an honor system, guys. This is an honor system. So I'm counting on you to be truthful, go out and do it. Um, it costs you nothing. And the winner, one winner is going to get the Freightpreneur t-shirt. I'm going to be giving another one of these away. And we've only got a few minutes. So this is probably going to be the last giveaway, potentially. We'll see how much time we have left. But um, yeah, so the Freightpreneur t-shirt, someone who solves problems you don't know you have in ways you can't understand. Okay. So we already gave away one of these shirts. We're going to give away at least one more today. And all you got to do is subscribe to the Freight Broker Bootcamp podcast. Pull out your cell phone. Search the podcast app of your choice, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts and type Freight Broker Bootcamp and then subscribe to the podcast. That's all you got to do. Subscribe to the podcast and then come back in and let me know that you subscribe to the podcast in the comments. And I'm going to give one of you lucky winners, one of you lucky subscribers. Not only are you going to be getting all this, my best of my best of my best audio training content on the podcast, but you're also going to have a chance to win the Freightpreneur t-shirt. So, and for those of you that are joining me late, um, we are going to be doing a training today. The topic is going to be nine freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money. Okay. So we are going to do that at the top of the hour. So that's going to start in a few minutes. And then at the end of that, we are going to be doing a live Q and A. All right. Okay. So we've got some people subscribed on Apple. We got some people subscribed on Spotify. We got some people subscribed. Okay, cool. So we got people subscribed. So we're going to give it about one more minute uh, for people to subscribe to the podcast. Again, it's super simple and it's a hundred percent free. I launched the Freight Burger Bootcamp audio experience podcast a few months ago. It's growing like crazy. We've got hundreds of reviews, lots of comments. I don't know how many subscribers because they don't really tell you, but we were ranked recently as the number 65 out of 100 top entrepreneur podcasts. Out of all entrepreneurial podcasts, this is a very small niche, freight brokerage and logistics, right? 
but the, you know, but we were ranked number 65 out of the top 100. That's how fast it's growing. That's the popularity of the show. And that's all because of you. So I want to thank you, everybody who's tuned in, everybody who's subscribed, uh, subscribed, everybody who's written reviews. Thank you so much. Um, so anybody that subscribes right now live is going to get a chance to win the Freightpreneur t-shirt. All right. So here we go, guys. I'm going to pick the winner. Let me see what time do we have here. Okay. So we don't have a lot of time. So let me pick the podcast subscribe winner. Let me scroll down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes and randomly scroll through and pick one winner. And the winner is, nope, sorry. I hit somebody who that wasn't the proper, they didn't, they didn't subscribe. They just made a comment. So let me scroll. Nope. Happened again. I apologize. Here we go. I want to make sure it's honest, right? So we're picking the right person. Okay. So here's the, here's the winner, Tanya Malone, Tanya Malone. You are the winner of the Freightpreneur t-shirt. Here's all you got to do, Tanya. Thank you for subscribing to the podcast, the Freightburger Bootcamp podcast on Apple. Thank you so much. That's where probably most of the people listen. And then second most is Spotify. Um, all you got to do to claim your prize, go to the Freightburger Bootcamp Facebook page. Send me, message me your name, your address, your phone number, your cell phone number, and your size, okay? These run pretty true to fit. This is unisex, okay? This is a large size appropriately. Uh, I will then send you out a t-shirt, okay? I'll send you out this Freightpreneur t-shirt, US only. Again, you got to be in the US. I announced that earlier. So all you got to do, Tanya, is send me your full name, address, size, phone number, and that you won uh, the Freightpreneur t-shirt for the podcast subscription giveaway. That's all you got to do. Message me with that, and I'll send you off the shirt. It'll go out this week. And so congratulations to both the winners. We don't have time to do another contest because we are going to be diving into the training really quick. And again, for those of you that are joining me late, um, you know, today we are going to go over nine freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money as a freight broker or a freight agent. Okay. And these apply to both the carrier and the shipper side. So these, these, these tips are going to help you on both sides because again, Part of the day-to-day -day of being a freight broker or a freight agent is negotiating. So you need to understand that. So we're going to give a, a minute or two more for people to get live because the stream, we really don't start the training until noon. So we got a few more minutes. I'm going to grab a quick drink. For those of you that are, are live here, let me know the city and state where you're logging in from. Type it in the comments and give me a heads up, the city and state that you're logging in from. I'll try to give some shout outs before we actually start the training. So again, do me a favor, type in the comments, the city and state where you're logging in from. I'm, as you may or may not know, I'm in the Buffalo, New York area, Western New York, lifelong resident, um, was about to move away 25 years ago when I met my wife and now I'm still here. So her family, we're, we have our families entrenched into the Western New York community. And uh, so we never escaped and it's winter. So now is a great time to escape. Um, but unfortunately, without the way everything is right now, we're probably not going to get away for the winter, but we did have a great holiday. I hope you guys had a great holiday. Um, let's see what we got. Do a few shout outs here. All right. So we got Tatiana Lozano from Palmdale, California, Luis Escobar from, uh, Hemet, California, Julianne Lever from Grand Rapids, Michigan. We got Robert Lewis from, Rosaria, Texas. We got Casey from Indianapolis, Indiana. We got Global Blueprint from Houston, Texas. Ariana from Atlanta, Georgia. Ariana is the big winner of the t-shirt. So I know it's going to Atlanta. Uh, Gustavo from Colorado. Stacy Lewis from Brazoria, Bra Texas. I'm sorry. Rico from Greenville, South Carolina. Winifred or Winfred from uh, Dun uh, Durham, North Carolina. Allison from Atlanta. Boyan from Macedonia. Okay, so we got another country and not only another country, but another continent. Uh, Jim Colk from uh, St. Lucas, Cabo St. Lucas. He must be on vacation. Uh, Mexico. Uh, Rihal from Plan Plainfield, Indiana. Greg from Las Vegas. Sean from Chicago. Uh, Val from Valencia, California. We got people from all over the U.S. and the globe. We get people from Canada. U.S., Central America, Africa, 
the Middle East, India, UK, people from all over the world, Australia, tune into these lives. So I'm very, I'm humbled that you guys are willing to take your time, uh, your precious time, especially around the holiday season to join me for these Freight Broker Bootcamp Lives. I debated on not doing a live this week because it's a holiday week, but I also know that you guys count on these trainings every single week. And again, thank you for everybody who's joining live wherever you are. Uh, give us a quick heads up on where you're located, where you're coming in from. And then we're going to start the training in just a few minutes. Again, for those of you that are joining me late, we're going to do a training today. And it, the topic is nine freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money. Okay. So that's what we're going to dive into. Um, we got hand on, hands on maintenance from Connecticut, uh, Rich from hands on maintenance in Connecticut. We got Tanya Malone from Belleville, New Jersey. We got Lukey's from Dallas, Texas. We got Eclectic Rose from Colorado. We got people from all over the place. Thank you for joining me. Truly appreciate you being here. Let me remove. All right, cool. Let me remove that because I always forget to remove that before we start the training. So we got a bunch of people live and I know you guys are busy. So we're going to dive in what time is it? Okay. So we got about another 30 seconds to let people get on here live. Um, for those of you that are just joining me live right now, your price of admission for joining me live today is very simple. It didn't cost you anything. You don't have to pull out a credit card. You notice there was no paywall gate to get into this training. All you have to do is like, smash the like button, and then hit the share button and share the stream. Okay. I can see who shares the stream afterwards. And trust me, I truly appreciate it. And, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed that you guys are willing to do that and spread the word. So do me a favor, make sure you first hit the like button and then click the share button and share it wherever you can. Share it on Facebook. It costs you nothing. Share it inside of a Facebook group that's freight broker or freight agent or logistics related or share it on Twitter, share it on wherever you want to share it, share the stream. I truly appreciate it. That's the price of admission. And again, the way I determine whether I continue to do these trainings is I take your temperature from time to time. And the more engagement I get from you during these trainings, which is evident from the likes, comments, and shares, the more likely I am to continue these trainings in 2022. Okay. So if you want me to continue these trainings, make sure you hit like and share, okay? And we are gonna be doing live Q&A at the end. So hang tight for that. We will do some live Q&A at the end. All right, so there's no time like the present. Let me shut this off. I have a little heater in my office because it's actually freezing in here sometimes, especially during the winter. But um, all right, so here we go, guys. Today, I'm gonna share with you nine freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money. All right. So first you have to understand negotiating is a daily part of every freight broker in freight agents job. It's a part of their day. It's an activity that you absolutely will do daily. Sometimes you're going to be no, no skate negotiating. That's easy for me to say negotiating with shippers. Sometimes you're going to be negotiating with carriers. And in most cases, most days you're going to be negotiating with both. Okay. So negotiating is an important part of learning how to make money as a freight broker, all right? So first, number one, and these are in no discernible order, okay? But number one should go without saying, build rapport, okay? You have to build rapport. People do business with people that they like, know, and trust. And when you're on the phone with a shipper or you're on the phone with a carrier and you're trying to negotiate rates particularly, or terms of some sort, okay, people are going to are going to be more willing to work with you if they like you, if you build rapport. So you always have to start there, okay? An easy way to do that is to find something in common that you have, make them laugh, things of that nature to build rapport. Those are That's a great starting point for any relationship, okay? So building rapport is incredibly powerful in negotiating and needs to be said first and foremost. Okay. So number one is focus on building rapport because people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Okay. That's number one. Number two, do your research when it comes to rates, whether it be on the shipper side or the carrier side, do your research. Okay. Number one, you have to understand what the load to truck ratio is in any given lane or in any given market. 
You should also know, is fuel going up or is fuel going down? What's the trend? You should also know, is the average rate in that lane based on that equipment going up or going down? So those are some things that you can get from the rating tools uh, on the different load boards. So those are some of the data points you can collect. You should also know and validate that rate and do your research based on talking to other carriers. When you're trying to identify the spot market rate, one of the best ways to understand what it's going to cost you to move a load from point A to point B is to talk to a carrier, okay? So doing your research up front is really, really important, okay? So that's number two. Number three, never take the first offer, okay? Never take the first offer. First of all, you'd always like the other party to start in the negotiation by offering a price first. Ideally, that's where you want to start. And then you negotiate from there, whether it's a shipper or whether it's a carrier, it does not matter. Never take the first offer, okay? Let them speak first. That's a trick in a, in a strategy to negotiating that helps you to figure out where they are and how far apart you are to know where you need to start your negotiation, okay? So always let them start. Never take the first offer, okay? That's number three. Number four is be empathetic, okay? Being empathetic on either side, the shipper or the carrier side, shows a lot of maturity and helps to build that relationship and helps them to know that you understand their issue. You understand their concern. So I'm going to give you an example of a little bit of a script that I put together that you could, that you could leverage with a shipper on the negotiating side. Let's say you guys are off on price by 50 bucks, okay? And your, your, your quote's $50 too high and they're, they're, you're negotiating with them and they haven't given you the load yet, but you're working on trying to get that business. So here's what it would sound like. Mr. Shipper, I understand that in the past you only paid X, but based upon the supply and demand of trucks in this lane, you're, you're not going to find any quality drivers unless we're able to come up on the rate a bit. As things change and rates come back down, we are more than willing to adjust your rates whenever possible. Do you see how that works? That's being empathetic. That's understanding. I know in the past that you were able to run it for X. And I'm not just giving you some arbitrary price. I'm telling you that based on supply and demand of trucks in this lane, this is what it's going to cost today. But in the future, if the rates go down, we're more than willing to adjust those rates down for you to try to remain competitive and save you money. Okay. So that's a perfect example of being empathetic. Okay. And you could use that. Uh, that's a perfect script to use on the shipper side when you are negotiating. Okay. All right. Number five. Let them know that you have other options, okay? They need to understand that you have other options, whether it's on the carrier side or the shipper side. So I put together another quick script, um, and this is, more, um, this is more on the shipper side, but the fact is there's a lot of competition for trucks in these lanes, Mr. Shipper, and there are several other companies willing to pay more to get access to our trucks. So the key is there, you have to let them know that there are other people that are seeking your capacity that you control, seeking your services, but more importantly, the trucks that you have access to, okay? The key here is you have to do your research. So ideally, at the end of that, you would be able to name a local company in that local area or that local region that would be competing for those same trucks, okay? And so that goes a long way to let them know that there is competition out there and that they're in a position where if they want access to that capacity, they might have to pay just a little bit more, okay? If they wanna work with you and get access to that capacity. So that's another example of letting them know you have other options. On the carrier side, negotiating with carriers the exact same way. You, know, you can talk about carriers that you haul this with on a regular basis or other carriers that are calling you now you know, to haul this same load. So letting them know you have other options is an important component to negotiating, okay? It's a great strategy to help your negotiations. Number six, don't use price ranges. I hate when people say, oh yeah, we can move that for, you know, 500, 550. Oh, we can move that for 1,000, 1,100. Don't use price ranges, okay? Particularly when you're dealing with carriers, right? If a carrier calls you and it says, how much are you willing to pay on that? Don't say 1,000, 1,100 or 550, 600, because they're automatically going to default to the higher range. 
be specific, be exact. And obviously you need to start below where you're at, where you want to end up because again, this is a negotiation. Okay. So if you want to end up at 600, you can't start at 600. If you want to end up at 600, you got to start at 500 or 525 or 550. Okay. That's where you need to start. And again, don't give price ranges, give exact prices. Okay. So that's number six. Don't use ranges. Number seven, expand your conversation beyond money. So what do I mean by that? So there are other considerations that will help drive price volume. For example, if it's a one low deal, then the price may be up here. But if they're willing to give you, if the shipper is willing to give you a load every day, you may be willing to adjust your price down a little bit for volume pricing. Or if they're willing to commit X number of loads per month or X number of loads per week or X number of loads per year, you may be, you may be motivated to negotiate your price down based on volume. Because again, you'd rather make a little bit less on a lot more loads than more on one load, right? So on the shipper side, it's the same. You, you have to consider that. So um, volume, credit terms, right? That's another component. If you can negotiate better credit terms, right? So maybe rather the shipper paying you in, uh, you know, in 30 days, maybe you can negotiate 21 days or rather than you, uh, with a carrier, you know, rather than you paying, um, uh, paying them in 30 days, maybe you can negotiate 35 or 40 days on, on the terms. So adding other terms in there like volume and credit terms and detention time, a perfect example of negotiating with a carrier, smart negotiation with a carrier is let's say you're $50 away in price. Okay. They want a thousand and you're at 950. So you can't get past the price issue, right? You've negotiated down to the bone and there's no way to get past the price issue. With most carriers, you're gonna get two hours on the pickup and two hours on the delivery before they're gonna start giving you detention. So why don't you negotiate in a little bit more pre, prepaid detention? So for example, rather than two hours, maybe you get three hours on the pickup and three hours on the delivery before they start charging you detention. It's another way to negotiate um, the end result without just giving in to the price, okay? So again, expand your conversations beyond just money, okay? Number eight, share your big picture. Share the big picture. What is the vision? What is your vision of this relationship? Whether it be with a shipper or with a carrier, okay? Talk about the value of long-term partnerships, long-term relationships, and give them examples on how you've developed these types of relationships and the results of those relationships, whether it be on the carrier side or whether it be on the shipper side. Talk about the big picture. Talk about the vision of your relationship and the partnership, what it could look like six months, a year, two, five years from now. And again, give examples of how you've worked with other companies and partnered with them, whether it be on the shipper side or the carrier side, and draw that picture. Because ultimately, any smart business person is going to focus on the long term. If they focus on transactional and it's only about this one load or this one day or this one week or this one month, okay, or this one transaction, you know, they're, they're very short-sighted and they're typically not going to go very far. But if you focus on the long game and you focus on those relationships and where they can, how they can prosper and how everybody can prosper mutually, it can be a win-win. And that's the type of motivation that some people will need to help negotiate that price down to the finer point, okay? All right, so that was number eight. Number nine, walk away if necessary. Understand something. No deal is better than a bad deal. With a shipper or with a carrier, it doesn't matter, right? So if after negotiating the deal, you can't get to the point, your bottom line, and you have to know your bottom line, okay? So number one, you have to know your bottom line. If you can't get to that bottom line, if you're not able to meet that bottom line, no deal is better than a bad deal. You have to be willing to walk away. And you can graciously walk away. You don't need to be mad. You don't need to be angry. You just say, listen, I really wish I could help Mr. Shipper. But at this point, I think I'm just going to have to walk away. Maybe we could reconvene and think, talk about this in 90 days or 180 days. And if anything happens in the meantime, you know, where you're not able to cover that freight, feel free to reach out to me. But I don't want to put my drivers, I don't want to put my carriers, and I want to, I don't want to put my company in a bad position 
because I'm because I'm overextending, right? I want to make sure that number one, you get serviced at a very high level and that we're able to work together for the long term. Okay. So that's an example of walk away if necessary. And then number 10, I'm going to throw a bonus tip in here. Okay. This is a really important one and drives me absolutely crazy, particularly when, when brokers and agents are negotiating with carriers. They have a tendency, the, 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 the tip is negotiate in fives and tens, not fifties and hundreds. Okay. Most brokers and agents, particularly new ones, have a tendency to give away too much in their negotiations. So let me play it out an example. You know, uh, a carrier comes in and says, all right, well, I need $1,000 to run that load from point A to point B. And the broker says, well, you know, I can only move that for 900, right? And that's his kind of his low rate. And then the carrier says, well, listen, I need a thousand bucks. And the broker will, or agent will immediately go to 950 or to a thousand. But what they should do is number one, they should sell the value and they should have done their research and understand where the rates are. And then they should incrementally go up in fives and tens. So rather than going from 900 to 950 or a thousand, you should go from 900 to 905 or 910. And here's why. The smaller the increment that you negotiate in, okay, the more time it gives you to negotiate and you don't give it all away. Secondly, from an appearance and from a perspective of the other person, if you negotiate in smaller dollar values, the more credible you are with your price. If you can automatically give 50 or $100 on the first bump, on the first increase, well, then they know you have a lot more rate into it. So this is the art of negotiating. Don't negotiate in 50s and 100s. Make sure you negotiate in 5s and 10s. So incremental increases of 5 and $10 is what you should strive for. So rather than going from 900 to 950, you go from 900 to 905 or maybe 910 and see if they're able to come down. And then if you have to adjust another 5 or $10, all of a sudden now you're at 925 or 930 versus 950 or 1,000. And trust me when I tell you that in the long term, 50 you know, 25 to 50 to a hundred dollars difference in negotiating with carriers and with shippers. This is the same way with shippers can literally make the difference between profit or not for your business. Okay. So you have to understand that this is a volume business. It's low margin, high volume, lots of repeat business. You don't need a ton of different shippers, but those are 10. I actually gave you a bonus. I give you nine. And then we gave you an extra bonus tip of 10 freight broker negotiating tips to help you make more money as a freight broker or a freight agent. So if you enjoyed that, do me a huge favor, subscribe to wherever you're listening to this, hit the like and subscribe button on Facebook or on YouTube or wherever you're at. Most of all, if you are curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. We've been in business over a decade. We've trained over 10,000 students. We offer a 60-day, 100% money-back guarantee, no questions asked, and, and we are well-known to be the most cost-effective and comprehensive online freight broker and freight agent training program available today. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, and come back next week for another Freight Broker Bootcamp Live. All right, guys, so that's today's training, but I am going to do some live Q&A. Okay. So stick around. Do not type the questions in the box yet. Okay. We are going to do some live Q and A. I don't know how long that took. That was about 20. All right. That training was about 20 minutes. So we are going to do some live Q and A. Um, who wants a chance to win another shirt? Who wants a chance to win the Freightpreneur shirt? I gave away two before we started the training. Does anybody want a chance to win the shirt? Let me know in the comments if anybody who's never won the shirt wants a chance to win the shirt. Type in the comments, yeah, I want to win. Yes, please give away a shirt. Something like that. Let me know that you want the shirt, okay? And uh, if we have enough people interested in the shirt, then I'll do one more shirt giveaway and then we'll do the live, the live Q&A. Ah, okay. So we got a few people. We got a few people. All right. And my wife keeps yelling at me. My wife and daughter keep yelling at me to set up a store where people can buy these, but I just haven't had time to do it. And uh, 
I, I guess maybe it's not time. I guess it's just motivation and focus on other things. But ultimately, I do like to give away the shirts. Okay, so here's all you got to do. All right. So for those of you that want uh, a chance to win this shirt, here's all you got to do. All right. It's going to be easy for some of you and a little bit not too bad for the others. I want you to go to my YouTube channel. Okay. I'm going to type the uh, the URL in the in the box here. Okay. I want you to go to my YouTube channel. I want you to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell, the little notification bell to make sure you get notified every time a new YouTube video comes out on my channel. So go to the, go to that page right there. Go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash freight broker. That's the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to make sure you get notified and then come back in and make sure that you let me know in the comments that you subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you hit, if you come into the comments and say subscribe to YouTube channel, you are going to qualify for the giveaway of one more shirt before we go into the live Q and A. Okay. So uh, anybody that wants a chance to win, go into the, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel right there. Like I said, just go to youtube.com forward slash freight broker, subscribe to the freight broker bootcamp YouTube channel. You'll see the channel. It'll have my bald head somewhere on the banner. <laughs> uh, you'll see all the videos and subscribe and then make sure you hit the bell to get notified. Okay. So that's all you got to do. And then come back in here. Um, yeah, not done. I don't want to hear done. I want to hear subscribe to YouTube. The only way you're going to get picked is if you type in the comments, subscribe to YouTube channel. Subscribe to YouTube channel. That's it. You got to hit click subscribe and then you've got to hit the bell. If you say done, it doesn't help me. It doesn't help me because I can't distinguish in the comments that you actually subscribe to the YouTube channel. So if you don't type subscribe to YouTube channel, you can't win. Okay. So first you got to, if you're on YouTube, open up another browser window, go to youtube.com forward slash freight broker, subscribe and hit the bell and then come back in and let me know if you're already streaming and uh, seeing this on YouTube, you might already be subscribed. If not, then make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you get notified. I put out new freight, freight broker training videos every, every single week. Okay. All right. So we got some people that are subscribed. I'm going to give uh, another minute or two for people to get subscribed. And then after we give away this shirt, I promise we're going to go to live Q and A. So hang tight. Everybody who wants to do some live Q&A, hang tight. We will do the live Q&A, I promise. All right. Um, okay. Somebody commented in here about getting in contact with the team. If you're looking for support, if you're a Freight Broker Bootcamp paid member and you want support, Send an email to support at freightbrokerbootcamp.com with your question, your concern, whatever it is, your tech issue, whatever you have, whatever issues or questions you have. If you're a paid Freight Broker Bootcamp member, send it to support at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Or you can log into the, tra to the training platform and send us a message and it will go to the same place. Okay. All right. So we got a bunch of people that are notified. Uh, George, you didn't win because I haven't picked a winner. <laughs> Uh, so here we go, guys. You got 30 seconds to subscribe on YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to show that you're getting note to make sure you get notified, um, of any future videos. I put these videos out every single week. Plus we have over a hundred free training videos on that channel. I mean, I give away more free content than most people have in their entire training programs alone. Okay. Uh, and again, for those of you that are curious about becoming a freight broker, a freight agent, make sure that you check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. We've trained over 10,000 students. We offer a 60-day, 100% unconditional money-back guarantee, so you can't go wrong, okay? Plus, again, we're well-known uh, well known to be the most cost-effective and comprehensive online freight broker training program. For those of you that don't know me, I've done over $200 million as a freight broker myself, okay? So I know what I'm talking about. If this training didn't prove it to you, then I promise you when you get involved in the training, you'll understand, okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to pick the YouTube subscriber, the winner for YouTube subscriber. We're going to pick it now. We're going to give away a shirt. All right, so here we go. Scroll. I'm scrolling through the list. Eyes are closed. The winner is, oh, I didn't pick a winner. I didn't have it on a spot here. The winner is, 
Global Blueprint. I couldn't see it. Global Blueprint. All right. So Global Blueprint is subscribed on the YouTube channel and he clicked to get notified. He clicked the bell to get notified. So Global Blueprint is the winner of the Freightpreneur t-shirt. So here's all you got to do. If you don't know by now, you don't know to claim your prize. All you got to do is go to the Freight Broker Bootcamp Facebook page and message me your full name, your address, your phone number, and your size. Okay. And this is unisex. This is a large so they've come pretty true to size. Um, and then let them know, let me know in the message that you won the YouTube subscribe contest, the YouTube subscribe contest, and you want the Freightpreneur t-shirt. You got to let me know that because I get tons of messages and this stuff gets lost and I want to make sure you get your shirt. Okay. I want to make sure you get your prize. So congratulations. Thank you. Everybody who played along. Um, I promise you, even if you didn't win, you won because now you can go to the YouTube channel and you're going to get notified every time I come out with a new video. Each one of those videos could be worth literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to you in the long term, if you apply those trainings. Okay. If you apply the principles, like the things I talked about today, the training I talked about today, if you take one or two of those things and apply it to your business, apply it to your daily activities, it could end up and result in hundreds thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit for you in the long term. Okay. So hope you guys enjoyed the training. Let's jump into some Q and A. So for those of you that have questions, okay, about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent or the topic that we talked about today, negotiating. Okay. Hit me up in the comments below with a question. Um, yeah, Sean, uh, actually the copyright is being filed for freightpreneur. Yeah. <laughs> So the copyright is being filed for Freightpreneur. So there is no, it's not a violation, but it is uh, It is something that I'm copyright. It's not copywriting, I'm trade, it's already copywritten. I'm trademarking it. So not, uh, not copywriting. It's already copywritten. Uh, what else we got here? Subscribe, okay, cool. All right, so type your questions into the comments and I'm gonna try to answer some of your questions. I probably will not get to all your questions today. But if I don't, I'll try to come back in later in the week and maybe I'll be able to answer it in the comments or you can come back next week and ask again. All right, so. Okay, so here's a question, very specific. I'm trying to get a shipper. They always have one or two pallets from 150 pounds to 7,000 pounds per pallet. Is it partial or LTL? How I ship it for lowest price. I need to have many shippers like them and combine. Okay. All right. So if you have light LTL, something that's 150 pounds, 200 pounds, 300 pounds on a pallet, right? If it's light LTL, you're probably going to run it on common carriers, UPS, um, FedEx, New England Motor Freight, right? The, the common carriers that do LTL, right? They will do pallet. They will do pallet. They, they, they price it not on a pallet rate, but they price it based on a class. It's a class-based freight rate. So if you have class 50 or class 70 or class 100, I don't have time to get into all the classes. They go on class, um, they go on dimensions and they go on weight. Okay. So if it's small LTL, in most cases, you're going to deal with uh, large uh, common carriers, large LTL common carriers. Like I said, UPS, FedEx, New England Motor Freight, all the big LTL carriers. Okay. Now, if you have heavy LTL where, you know, you're heavy or large LTL, maybe it's something that's taking up six pallets, uh, or it's over 5,000 pounds, right? Something like that. You might run that as what we call as a partial truckload. Okay. So you, at that point, you're going to post it as a partial truckload, and then you're going to try to find a carrier that's consolidating partials and wants to run them as a full truckload. So what they'll do is if they can get, you know, four pallets from four pallets and 5,000 pounds from one broker, and they can get four pallets and 5,000 pounds from another broker, and they can get four pallets and 5,000 pounds from another broker. What they're going to do is they're going to do kind of what we call a load to ride. They're going to load those pallets up. Um, and then what they're going to do is they're going to do, a, they're going to consolidate them into a full truckload. Then they're going to, they're going to, they're going to do like a, a, you know, like a multi-stop load where they're dropping all of those pallets. You know, they might be going from LA, you know, from Buffalo 
to uh, Atlanta and they're going to drop all those pallets. Maybe that's their lane or maybe they're going to go from Chicago to LA and they're going to drop all those pallets along the way. And then they're going to do the same thing back. So heavy or large, you're going to run it as a partial light. Okay. Or small, small pallet count. You're going to run as a common carrier. Okay. So I hope that helps. I mean, that's about as good as I can give you in a short training like this, but it, it might be interesting for me to do a training on LTL and partials. So I'm going to mark that down on the list as a future training topic. Good question. Okay, so here's a question from Danny. I'm having a hard time getting a shipper. What do you think about soliciting shippers that post on load boards? Danny, I think soliciting shippers that post on load boards is a waste of time. I'm just going to be honest with you. I think it's a complete waste of time. I've never in my career seen a broker ever get a good customer that way or never seen a broker get a, sh a good shipper that way. Never seen it because the shippers that are posting to load boards are focused on one thing. They're focused only on rate. That's all they're focused on. And if you're focused hundred percent on rate, I don't want to do business with you. I don't waste my time. So my suggestion to you is understand one thing. There are no shortcuts. You are not going to build a successful freight brokerage or a freight agency by trying to find shippers that are posting to some shipper load board. Okay. You know, you have these load boards out there that are selling this, oh, we've got shippers and you can get shippers. That's bullshit. I'm going to tell you it's bullshit. Sorry about the language, but that's just the truth. They're selling a bunch of hype. You're not going to get any good shippers that way. I promise you, you're not going to get any good shippers that way. It is a complete waste of your time. How do I know? Because I hired people to focus on those boards and solicit those boards when they first came out and none of them ever made hardly any money. There was all the rates were beat down, wasn't worth the time. And the problem is they don't let you communicate via phone because everything has to be digital. So it turns out to be a complete waste of time. You should focus on developing real relationships with real shippers that have real need that are willing to pay for your time and your energy and are focused not just on rate. So I hope that helps. The uh, Johnny Muhammad asks, what surety bond company is the best to go with? There are tons of surety bond companies out there, but I will tell you that we do have a relationship with Lance surety bond. If you go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash bond, okay, this is a guy that I've known for years. I have vetted. We've had lots of students that have used his, his surety bond and they've all had really good things to say. So if you go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash bond, you can get a free bond quote. Okay. So if you're curious about a bond or you need a bond, then check it. You can start there. You can always go with whoever you want. There are tons of surety bond companies out there. Okay. Um, but again, this is one that I have personally vetted is one that I know has done, been in business for over a decade one that I know does business the right way and the only one that I've ever personally recommended, okay? Because of the relationship and because of the work they've done with our clients. So if you're looking for a, a surety bond quote, if you're looking for information on getting a surety bond, if you're a new broker or you're an existing broker and you're looking to try to maybe uh, get a little bit better rate or service, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash bond. There's an application there you can submit and that's, that's the way you're going to do it. Don't call them because I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a waste of time. They're going to just make you fill out an application because they just can't feel the number of calls. Fill out the application and that's the best way to get their attention and to start getting a rate right quote. Good question. Okay, so here's a question from Aaron Moore. First starting out, how long did it take you to really benefit from brokering? Well, I started benefiting right away. Um, my first load is this was 2003, 2000, end of 2003, going into 2004. We moved 12 loads our first month. We moved 12 loads our first month. And then I don't know what we moved our second month, but I think in our second month, we moved over 20 because I remember we were averaging more than one a day. And then it just grew from there. The first year we did 1.2 million in sales and we were profitable. Uh, we were averaging about, at that time, we were probably averaging about 18, 19% margins. Okay. Um, and then we went from 1.2 million, 18, 19% margins up to 3.6 million. 
the next year to over 6 million the third year to over 12 million the fourth year to over 18 million. And then eventually before I sold the company in 2016, we were doing over $80 million a year. Okay. in revenue. And on that 80 million, we were probably averaging, if I, you know, rough guesstimate, we were probably averaging 16, 17% margins that year on about 80 million in, uh, in sales. So if you did the math, it's not an exact science and I'm not very good at it, but if you do 80 million times 17% margins, that's 13.6 million in profit. Okay. And gross profit before expenses. Okay. Because we had a lot of expenses. So ultimately that wasn't bottom line, but that was gross profit. So I don't know if that answers your question or not, but I think that's the best way to, best way to draw the picture for you. Uh, I don't teach dispatching, so I can't help you there. Anybody who has questions about becoming an independent dispatcher, I'm sorry, I don't teach it. The reason why I don't teach it is because there's a lot of gray area and a lot of questions about the legality. Um, you can look up the TIA, you can look up the FMCSA. There's a lot of legality issues and question about independent dispatchers um, because a lot of people are accusing them of unauthorized brokering because they don't have a broker license. Okay. They don't have a broker authority. And so there's a lot of debate there. So I don't teach it. Plus you can make a lot more money as a broker than a dispatcher. I promise you. Uh, I'm scrolling. Let me find a good question. You know, Sean, that's a good question. Is there any way to report the dirty authorities? I waste a lot of time with these double brokers calling on every load lane I post. You know, I'm not sure. I, I know there used to be kind of a, uh, kind of like a source where you could, you could write reviews or you could put, uh, put carriers and brokers on a blacklist. We had our own internal, what we called our blacklist, which was companies that we have, we have uh, disqualified and we have banned from doing business with. So we had that internal list where they were on our list and they couldn't be used. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's a, if there's a site out there that does that, there probably should be, but I don't think they want, it's probably messy. Uh, a lot of disputes and a lot of back and forth. Uh, yes, uh, he did. She said she did kind of stuff. Um, so I don't know of a, of an, of a site that does that. If anybody else does, feel free to put it in the comments. Okay. Uh, what is detention? Okay. So detention, let me explain to you detention. Detention is compensation for a driver that goes beyond the normal pickup and drop time. Okay. So let's say for example, that a carrier has a load that they're going to pick up for you and it's scheduled to load to pick up at 10 AM. So they, the carrier shows up on time and um, but they don't get them loaded until after one o'clock. Now, most carriers will give you two load, two hours on the front end and two hours on the back end, two hours to load, two hours to unload. Some will argue it's only an hour and an hour, but in most cases, when you're brokering loads, you'll get two hours on the load, two hours on the unload. But because they didn't get it loaded, it started at 10 and didn't get loaded till afternoon, which is that two hour allotment, there'll be an hour of detention time, which means you have to pay them for that time that they spent with their wheels not moving. Because you have to understand, carriers only make money when their wheels are moving. When they're sitting in a dock waiting to get loaded or getting loaded, they're not making money. So time is money for them. So you have to understand, if you went an hour over your allotted time, you're gonna have to pay detention. And detention typically runs somewhere between 50 and $100 an hour. You know, 50 to 75 is kind of the norm for detention per hour, okay? And that starts running after the two hour allotment or whatever your agreed upon allotted time is. So that's detention. That would be an additional charge that you would have to pay the carrier above and beyond the agreed rate. Now, the good thing is that shippers pay detention as well. So you're not going to lose if you, if you charge the shipper $50 for detention and you pay the carrier $50 for detention, you didn't lose any money. Okay. So the detention and access oils really shouldn't be a profit center for brokers. It should be a pass through. Okay. So you can charge your shippers detention. They understand that they understand that if they don't get it loaded in a certain amount of time, they're going to have some access oil charges. They're going to have some small incremental charges. So you do have to notify your shipper and let them know. 
that the, that you they went past the allotted time. Sometimes they're going to make some phone calls and they're going to push it through so that they do get loaded quickly. And then whatever the time is. Now it doesn't require an hour. If someone's 15 minutes over, you know they can pay a fraction of that hour. If they're half an hour over, it's a fraction of the hour. If they're a full hour, then obviously it's the full hour rate. So detention is a fee that you pay a carrier or a shipper pays a broker or a broker pays a carrier when they go beyond the allotted loading time. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, easy, you're gonna negotiate detention just like you negotiate anything else. Uh, if a shipper says that they only pay $50 an hour for detention and your standard rate is 75, you negotiate it just like any other rate. Uh, if, if a carrier tells you that they need a, you know, if they're on the dock and they say that they've been at, you know, they've been there for four hours and they need two hours of detention and they're saying they need $75 an hour, you can try to negotiate it down to $60 an hour. I mean, it's just like negotiating anything else. Okay. Use the same exact principles that I shared in those 10 tips that I gave you today. Uh, Johnny asks, is it better to get shippers face-to-face -face or call them? Better is subjective, but I would tell you, I it's always great to get face-to-face -face with shippers, but the challenge is the time and energy and cost it takes to go face-to-face -face is much more difficult than it is to use the phone. So the phone gives you ultimate leverage in reaching a large number of people in a short period of time. So I personally prefer the phone because I'm also not limited geographically to calling on shippers that are just in my backyard. As a matter of fact, when we were doing, before I sold the company and we were doing $80 million a year in sales, I would tell you that probably less than two or 3% of that 80 million was local in my local market. Most of it was everywhere else. So if you limit your geography, Number one, you're going to limit your opportunity. Number two, if you're limited to face-to-face, -to -face, then you're also going to, it's also going to take you longer and be more expensive to reach out to the market. Now, I'm not telling you to not do face-to-face -face because face-to-face -face can be very effective if you're prepared and if you're good at it. But I do think that if you want to grow a highly profitable freight brokerage, you will need to learn to leverage the phone. But to try to maybe get your first few customers face-to-face -face might be a great solution if you're struggling uh, on getting people on the phone or you're having a hard time selling over the phone because it is a more effective strategy face-to-face -face in any product that, or service that you're selling. Okay? So I hope that helps. Good question. Okay, so Islam, here's what I'm going to do. How can I, as a new broker, make sure that the carrier's factoring company accepts mine? Go to my YouTube channel, freight broker of youtube.com forward slash freight broker and type, uh, I think it's, uh, I think I did an interview with Elio Longoria where we talked about how to build your credit as a new broker. The best way that you can get the factoring companies to accept your load is to go from being not rated as a broker to getting a rating, a B or a C or an A rating as a carrier or as a broker on the load boards. Okay. So he goes through an entire strategy on how to do that. He's a student and a successful student at that. He's built a, a great brokerage here in the last year. He just started last year. He's doing really, really well. Uh, he was a student at boot camp. He came out and did a training on how he was able to build his credit quickly. So I would refer you to the YouTube channel. Uh, and just type, I don't know if it's Elio Longoria or how to build your credit fast. I think that's what it was, something like that. Um, and you'll see, walk through it. He walks through the entire process on how to do it step by step by step. So that would be where I would suggest you go. And anybody else who's struggling with credit as a new broker, that's where you want to go. Okay. Good question. I love questions like this. <laughs> Moon Eyes, uh, Moon Eyes says, what's the best way to acquire a shipper? The best way to acquire a shipper is to have a conversation with that shipper. I don't care where that conversation takes place. Face-to-face, -face, email, phone. Ultimately, 
You got to have conversations. You've got to tell your story. You've got to figure out a way to start having conversations with your target market. Okay. So I know that's a very simplistic answer, but it was a very generic question. So acquiring shippers, most people do one of three or four strategies. They use the phone. They do cold calling over the phone. They do cold email via email. They do face-to-face -face contacts. They do referrals. Those are four of the primary ways that most brokers get shippers. Okay. Pick one, pick two, pick three, pick them all. Okay. There is no best. All there is, is you finding your niche, building a list of contacts, and then doing your outreach. The key is that's part of the reason why I put together the Freight Broker Sales Accelerator Program. And this is probably a good idea to let you guys know about that. The Freight Broker Sales Accelerator Program is where I take this piece of my brain about Freight Broker Sales and I share my entire Freight Broker Sales system, all the best strategies, tactics, and tools in a full system. Now that program is closed right now. Okay, uh, I, we we're in the we're in the middle of of delivering that coaching program. That's a five week coaching program where I work with people in a group environment where I coach them on that entire process. Uh, it's closed right now, but if you want to get on the wait list for the Freight Broker Sales Accelerator so that you will get notified when I open it back up, I don't know when I'm going to open it back up. It's probably going to be it's going to be at least a couple of months, I think, before we open it back up. Go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash wait list, okay? It has sold out. I've run that cohort, that class, three times now, and it's sold out every time, okay? Last time I let 100 people into the course, that was just about a month or two ago, and it sold out in just a few days, okay? So it's not a free program. It's a paid program. It's outside of the normal Freight Broker Bootcamp training because it's very specialized, advanced sales training specific for sales. So if you want to get on the wait list, if you want to be notified when that releases, the only way you're going to get a chance to enroll in that program is if you get on that wait list because it literally sells out almost overnight. Okay. So that's where you guys can get on the wait list for the Freight Broker Sales Accelerator. I'll leave that up there for now. Let's see. A couple more questions and then I'm going to wrap it up for today. Okay, so as far as uh, credit for bonding, talk about a bond. Is there a certain level your personal credit should be to qualify for a bond? I can't tell you what your where where the minimum level is because some companies have different products and different risk tolerance. Here's what I can tell you: if you have a 550 credit score, your price is going to be up here, and that price could be several thousand up to maybe. I've seen bonds as much as seven, eight, nine thousand dollars a year for really bad credit. Now, if your credit, if your this is if your credit is five fifty, your price is going to be up here. But if your credit is six fifty or seven fifty, your price is going to be way down here. So what I see is that the range that I see for most bonds falls somewhere in the range of nine hundred per year up to maybe thirty five hundred per year. That's where most bonds fall. Okay, if you have average, average to above average credit, if you have bad credit, it can go way above that. Okay, it can go above that. Okay, and I can't guarantee it. But here's the good thing. We've had tons of students who didn't want to, who, who were concerned that had bad credit, who didn't, couldn't afford their bond to get started because it was a really high credit, who started as a freight agent and are going and have went on some of them have went on to make tens of thousands of dollars a month in commission as freight agents okay perfect example of someone who uh, who who you know was having a hard time getting started as a broker and then decided to become an agent is Lita uh, Hakabayan who may be watching today i interviewed her and her second month as an agent she made over $10,000 in commission commission in her pocket her second month. So don't disregard the agent opportunity. I had agents that I paid over a hundred thousand dollars in commission in one month. Okay. Our average agent made over $107,000 per year. Now I'm not promising you anything. I'm not promising you're going to make a dime. Matter of fact, some of you are going to enroll in my course and you're going to make zero. I promise you that there are going to be people that are do that, but it's not because of the information or the training. It's because you didn't take action, right? 
or you didn't stick with it long enough or you quit too early, right? So ultimately, um, that's my that's my feedback on, on the bonds, okay? And if you guys are looking for bonds, okay, and you want to get a, a good, honest bond quote, freight broker bond quote, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash, oh no, not wait list, I'm sorry, bond, okay? Check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash bond. That's where you're going to be able to get um, a an honest bond quote that's going to be very competitive. Okay. And, you know, again, you guys, uh, you can get your bonds wherever you want. That just happens to be a relationship that we've vetted out. So we set up that link specifically so that people could easily navigate and go get a free uh, bond quote. Okay. So I hope that helps. All right. All right. I have a question for you guys in the audience. You guys in the audience, I have a question for you. How many of you are not, have not yet enrolled in Freight Broker Bootcamp? You have not enrolled in Freight Broker Bootcamp, okay? Um, you're here consuming the training, but you have not yet enrolled in Freight Broker Bootcamp. Hit me up in the comments and let me know that you have not enrolled yet, okay? Give me a heads up and let me know if you have not enrolled. I'd like to, I'd like to hear from those people and understand a little bit more uh, of what the audience is. Okay. So Charlotte's not enrolled. All right. Who else? Who else is not enrolled? All right. Daniel's not enrolled. Who else? We got anybody else in the audience watching on YouTube or watching on Facebook? Jose's not enrolled. Okay. So we got a few people. I'm assuming there's probably quite a few more. Okay. Uh, Antonio's not enrolled. Okay, so there's a few, there's four or five people. Okay, so that's good. All right, so here's the good news. Now, let's hear from all the students that are enrolled in Freight Broker Bootcamp and tell it. Okay, so let me know. You say I'm a I'm a student of Freight Broker Bootcamp or I'm enrolled in Freight Broker Bootcamp. Let me know in the comments. I'd like to get a sense as to who is enrolled or who already took the Freight Broker Bootcamp course or any course that you took of mine, okay, whether it be the no cold calling for freight brokers or the freight broker sales accelerator or the freight broker bootcamp, any course, if you've enrolled in any of my courses, let me know in the comments, okay? Give me a heads up. I have a feeling there might be a couple. There might be a couple people that are here. Ah, Tedla is enrolled. He's a student of freight broker bootcamp. Congrats, thank you. Uh, Facebook user enrolled. He's in the $15 million club, okay? I have a feeling I know who that is. Um, Shan Chi has completed Freight Burger Bootcamp. Mario has enrolled in Freight Burger Sales Accelerator. Sean enrolled two years ago in Bootcamp. Phil Jackson is doing the Freight Burger Sales Accelerator and Bootcamp. Gustavo's enrolled. Mitchell's enrolled. Allison's enrolled. Michelle is enrolled. Robert's enrolled. Uh, Buffalo Corey is enrolled. So I think my point, okay, uh, Sir, so, oh, Cyrus is enrolled. He's a he's an alumni of Bootcamp and Freight Broker Sales Accelerator, okay? So I think you get my point. My point is this. There's a reason why we've been, oh, why I've trained over 10,000 students, why we've been in business over a decade, and why we're well known to be the most cost-effective and comprehensive online freight broker training program. You can see some of the past students that have been here. So if you're on the fence and you're curious, but you're just not, you haven't been ready to take that jump, take that leap. There's no risk without reward, but I promise you, we offer a unconditional 60 day, 100% money back guarantee. You just saw at least in this live, just in this small group of live people, 20 plus people or more that are enrolled in my programs and are here on these lives. They wouldn't be here if they hadn't got good value. They wouldn't be here if it's not working for them. So I hope that helps to get you over the edge. I'd love to see you start out this new year um, with a bang on the right foot, letting us help you start your freight broker, freight agency business. Um, with that, I'm going to close it out for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this training was valuable. If it was, give me, give me a comment in the, give me a comment rating the training from one to 10. One meaning this was horrible, Dennis. It was useless. You did nothing. You did nothing right. It was terrible. 10 meaning you absolutely loved it. And I hit it out of the park and 
be honest. If it was a three, tell me it was a three. I don't care. I have thick skin, but I'd rather hear and, and know that it wasn't a good topic or I didn't do a great job. Maybe I'll try to come back in and do a better job next week. Um, but give, rate it from one to 10. One being horrible, 10 being you absolutely loved it and you'd like me to come back next week and do more trainings. Uh, give me an honest, uh, an honest rating on it. I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, and be honest. If it was a 6.5, make it a 6.5. I don't mind. I just want you to tell the truth because that's the goal. Us to be able to communicate so that I can... I can make these trainings more valuable to everybody involved. Okay. So we've got, we got a few tens. We got a seven. We got a few more tens. We got a nine. Um, and again, the training is only part of this. Knowledge is only potential power. You guys have to take that knowledge and you have to put it to work. Okay. You actually have to apply that knowledge. And once you apply that knowledge, that's power. Okay. So again, so we got, some, again, we got some nines, we got some tens. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad that I was able to deliver for you guys. Um, I hope you guys have subscribed to the YouTube channel because I am re I am uh, releasing new trainings every week on there. Uh, and it's usually an edited down version where you're not going through all this live. Now, people that has, have questions and want to win prizes and want to be live, I really appreciate you guys being here. I love it that you guys join me live. Uh, and I really enjoy these lives every single week, especially the Q&A. So thank you so much for the kind words. I want you guys to have an awesome week. And again, if you guys are looking for, if you want to be a part of the next cohort for the Freight Broker Sales Accelerator, which is my Freight Broker Sales Coaching Program, where I teach you everything about Freight Broker Sales specific, it's advanced sales strategy, go to FreightBrokerBootCamp.com forward slash waitlist. That's where you can get on the waitlist for that. Um, it's not available now. You can't purchase it now. You can't enroll now. Um, but you will get notified when that goes live. And for those of you that um, are interested in getting started as a freight broker or a freight agent, all you got to do is go to uh, cut off the waitlist and just go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Okay. Have an awesome week and I will see you next week. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. I'll be seeing you. And, and you know, matter of fact, I'll see you next year. Talk to you soon.